What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the player of the week players here from the European Club Championship Pack. We're going to be doing a review and of course we're going to be opening up as well. This is on my Road to Glory account so I hope we do actually get De Bruyne. Let's crack on. So De Bruyne is obviously going to be the main attraction here. Luis Alberto as well is a good player. He's got the booster. London obviously the, kill the goalkeeper. You get three chances at getting these players. Now lads, I will be honest man, at this stage in the game, right, these players are kind of for newcomers. I've said this before and I'll probably end up saying it again. I know the boosters do make a bit of a difference, but the likes of Pedri, Marquinhos, there's been better versions of these cards out. Um, and even these back five here, Otavio, obviously, he, like he's a centre back, he's down as a destroyer, he's got average speed and acceleration, which is quite nice, his aggression is going to go to 90, his tackle and defensive awareness are quite good, physically, he is a strong, strong beast, uh, height wise, he's pretty decent as well, and of course, he's got those mainstays for C a CB, especially a destroyer CB, interception and blocker with heading, he doesn't have acrobatic clearance or aerial superiority, so I do feel that the cars that they're bringing out now they're not as good as the other versions of the cards that have been brought out we'll see that with Marquinhos and Pedri as well they're still pretty decent cards but they're not where they need to be in my opinion if you're thinking of spinning for these so again this guy is a pretty decent player all you need in your destroyer is a bit of speed and a bit of aggression the rest will handle itself we also have Arnautovic this guy is down as a goal poacher too slow balance is absolutely shocking don't even waste your time lads I'm not going to waste my breath fighting spirit and super sub with a range of player skills is quite nice but honestly these type of goal poachers are a dime a dozen in the game now unless you really really have your heart set on playing with this Arnautovic card I would say just don't bother man if you do spin him obviously you can't choose who you buy but I wouldn't even bother playing him man uh Matson as well we got him on our main profile down as a whole player bags of tricks bags of skills very nice stats as well apart from the balance like again he's just kind of an okay card I mean he's got a bit of a dodgy hairdo as well um he looks like uh, something out of a, a rock band or something, man. I don't know. But he's down as a whole player. His form is standard. Uh, his weak foot accuracy is very high, which is quite nice. And he's going to be slick to handle as well because he's got that height to weight ratio, which is nice. But I'm not going to spend too much time on these leads. You kind of know what you're getting with these cards now. Luke de Jong down as a target man as well. Um, and he's got the little side sweep ha uh, hairstyle there. One touch pass, true passing, captain C, super sub, first time shot, acrobatic finishing, heading. is bagging in goals over for PSV at the moment. Scored another hat trick there. That's why he got this player of the week card. But lads, honestly, man, these cards right now, these target men cards, unless you are really, really playing to their strengths, there is honestly no point in actually using them. Like, and I'm not saying that, this is coming from me who plays with Collar quite a bit. And you'll see I'll be dropping an unbelievable video at uh, the weekend where uh, we were live streaming and we had an unbelievable result uh, with Collar and Giroud up front. But this card, lads, as a target man, is just it's not going to cut it, man. The balance is too low. His tight possession is terrible. You can't train him up um, other than a target man. And you can buy players for GP. So again, if you're going to be spinning for any of those six players, and I would probably include Oshiman in there as well, just don't bother. Now, if you're spinning for Luis Alberto, Diaz, Marquinhos, Pedri, or De Bruyne, I would say that Marquinhos and Pedri have had better cards before. Just to kind of look at Oshie here, Oshiman is a very, 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 very poor card in the game, lads. I know he looks cool with the Batman mask. Honestly, I swear to God, man, he is so bad. He's so bad. I just can't understand why he's so bad in the game. Obviously, I know he is bad because of his tight possession and balance. You can't dribble with him. Now, here comes people in the comments saying, oh, I scored a hat-trick a game with Oshiman. I'm sure that you do, man, the same way as I can score a hat-trick with Collar as well. But he just is so clunky, man. He's so clunky, it's unbelievable. Um, Vlahovic is kind of a similar one in the other pack as well. They're kind of similar cards. You know, they play similar. And I know people that do like to play with Vlahovic uh, with the one-touch pass booster there, that he's a beast. I did do another review on that, so make sure and check it out. Um, but honestly, I feel like you're only going to be spinning in this for De Bruyne, probably Alberto maybe as well, he's kind of a unique card, and maybe Brahim Diaz, because we will try him out, and we will see who we spin here as well, speaking of Brahim Diaz, he's down as a whole player attacking midfielder, these are the type of players I love, like San Krasen, uh, Neymar, those slick players that can just absolutely destroy people if they're not able to defend, double touch, soul control, he also has chop turn, he doesn't have flip flap and you can't train it with him, so that just knocks a point off this card, 
but he does go to a 94 overall with his ball carrying plus three booster tight possession dribbling speed and balance that's all you really need man i've said this once i'll say it a thousand times very uncomplicated if you want to run and gun with players have their tight possession their balance and their acceleration as high as you possibly can that's all you need to worry about if you're going to be taking your game to the next level you're talking about learning other mechanics and stuff like that but for most players that will get you by from your center midfielder all the way up to your center forward if you're looking to run and gun if you're playing target man it's going to be different speed is okay as well stamina is not too big of an issue i see people you know say oh we can't play him he's got low stamina I mean, you don't need anything more than this. And I do like the fact that with the manager boost, he's going to have 90 dribbling. He's also going to have, if you've got 10 hag, uh, a little boost to the speed as well. So that's going to go to 88. And acceleration is going to be nearly at the 90 mark. Balance type possession and acceleration around the 90 mark is going to be is going to be decent. And of course, he's got some nice skills as well, as we said there. Marquinhos. It's kind of a weaker Marquinhos card. If you remember with the Brazilian, the free Marquinhos one that they gave, um, it's, this is probably a very, very similar card to that, but honestly, I wouldn't be just going out of my way to spin for this guy, there's been multiple, 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 uh, Marquinhos cards that have been beastly, now, I would, I, I think I would rate Marquinhos as card lads, the way he plays, the way he's so slick, he's the perfect height and weight for his player build here, and he also, um, does have that unwavering form and medium weak foot accuracy acceleration speed are very balanced but he's also got really nice balance and tight possession which means he handles a bit better than most center backs that are build up he's not super 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 tall like van dyke or Varane or them guys but he is an absolute defensive colossus at the back brilliant tackling defensive awareness and defensive engagement but i wouldn't be spinning strictly for him and pedri falls into the same category there's been so many versions of pedri and marquinhos if you download the game today and you've never had the chance to spin for a pedri or marquinhos and you get these cards they're fantastic cards man there's no doubt about it but it's just hard for somebody like me or maybe some of you guys in the in the video comment section here and let me know it, there's just no real point in going for these guys you know brilliant ball control dribbling and tight possession i love that he can play all the left side low pass acceleration speed balance everything is perfect on this card but i have so many versions of pedri that it's not going to be something that i spin for so the two players that i'm going to be spinning for here is alberto who is quite slow but is an absolute beast and is quite a good finisher as well i don't think that he's kind of like you know going to be up there with the best cmfs and he's no defense for a box to box it would have been better if he was an orchestrator but i can see what they're trying to do here unwavering form high weak foot accuracy nice player skills he's get the technique plus three uh, uh, max plus three uh, with the level A uh, update and he's usually on A rating as well it's a nice card but I think it's obviously going to be suited more as an SS or an AMF and then we have the Bryna who falls into that category as well so kick and power is very nice that gets a boost physical contact gets a boost finishing gets a boost ball control gets a boost Kevin De Bruyne one of the best players that has ever graced the Premier League unbelievable and I think that this is the card that I really want to test you don't need to say too much more about the Bryna lads look at the ball control the low pass the tight possession acceleration and speed if you're playing him as an AMF you don't need to worry about that so goalkeeper again as normal it's just not worth using him you can get better gp goalies we're gonna spin we're gonna spin we're gonna go straight in with this i'll leave it to the last and we will spin hopefully we get somebody that we can try out on this profile because this is my second road to glory account that i haven't played with in a while but i will be bringing it back and who do we get straight off the rip it is matson now i got him on my main profile as well man that's poor he, uh, I don't know, man. He looks like a, an 80s action star or something. I don't know what he's at with that hairstyle there. But hopefully we get somebody new. De Bruyne maybe, or else... I would say maybe potentially Brahim Diaz will be quite nice as well. Um, we got him on our main profile, but it'd be nice to play a bit of Road to Glory with him. Who do we get, man? Oh my God, man. We get Ot Otavia at the back. <sighs> Listen, man. For a Road to Glory, he's not going to be too bad, I suppose, but... Holy moly, lads, that's a bad, bad, bad two, uh, two cards. You don't get a free spin at this, so this is our last chance. And you can't clear this agent either, so that is a bit of a pain. But let's see, man, let's see. We could be third time lucky here. It might be De Bruyne. It might be Diaz. Let's see, man. Let's see who it is. It's nobody. Oh, it's Luis Alberto, man. Okay, so we do get a booster. We do get a booster. We do get somebody that we can actually test out. I think we got Brahim Diaz in our main profile uh, as well. But uh, De Bruyne eludes us, man. He eludes us. We didn't get him in the last time he was up as the booster either. But yeah, I mean, we'll see, man. We'll see if we get him in. But that is it, boys. That is it for me. I will be back today streaming. And of course, check out my other Player of the Week review as well, where we did the worldwide one. Did we get the Modric card? Who knows? 
Only you'll have to watch and find out. But we'll be back streaming today. Until then, don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.